What's up guys, welcome to episode two of the Torridos Tejas 300K. Today we're gonna review my packing list and my loadout plan. Let's go. My name is Luis, AKA Chico, and these are my adventures, experiences, and my life as an ultra runner. <laughs> these are Run True Diary. This, uh, some of those, one of those, that. Yeah, everything goes inside of that. The medical stuff, some hygiene stuff, uh, some hot hands, uh, a little bit of that, a bunch of those, and just that runner. And this isn't even all of it. Anyway, I got my packing list broken down into five sections. Wearable gear, packable gear, nutrition, accessories, and personal care. Well, let's do as much as we can with what we got. My wearable packing list consists of my basic running attire, my hokas, and my garment with the latest updated maps of the course. Some notable items in my packable gear are going to be my cold and wet weather gear, my trekking poles, and the night reflective gear. My nutrition contains emergency food and water, and some hammer nutrition products like Endurolites, Hammer Gel, and Perpetuum Solids. My accessories, I have my GoPro, earbuds, my phone, and everything that I need to keep them charged. Lastly, my personal care is my basic hygiene, first aid supplies, identification, and emergency items. So everything I'm taking on the run will be packed into my hydration vest, and over the top I'll be wearing this light vest. Let's try it on. Alright, so three things to note. The first is I'm only training with about three quarters of the, of the actual gear that I'm going to have with me. Now the reason for that is I have the Solomon Advanced Skin 5 liter vest and I can only hold so much. So we ordered the 12 liter vest and once that comes in I can fine tune my loadout plan. The second thing is I never run with the hat but lately it's been more and more practical so I'm incorporating a hat into this run. And lastly, I'm adding a new supplement into my nutrition plan. I'm getting pretty close to race day so I need to hurry up and zero in on a dosage. A couple issues that I foresee I need to fix early is number one, my trekking poles. They tend to rub on my shoulder on my left side. I just been running with it like that trying to become friends with discomfort <clears throat> that way when the new vest comes in I can fine-tune it and make sure that it's not a problem during the actual race we just finished running took our gear off right here you can see where the poles are rubbing on the pack and on the shirt that I wore you can see where the poles are rubbing on the shirt which is going to be actually have contact with my body. That's something that we're definitely going to want to head off and take care of once a new pack comes in. This was only a two hour run. I can't imagine having that happen over the course of a few days. The new pack just came in. Now we got to get ready to transfer everything from the old pack and into the new pack and get ready for a night training run. I'm gonna cut it short here, but I'll definitely remember to give y'all an update. As always, thank you for the support, and I'll see you in the next video or the next race.